Hi guys, it's me, Dana. And I'm filming another massive, you can't see it, oh my goodness, skincare empties today. So this is one of your favorite videos. I know you guys like to watch these. And I've got a lot of empties that I'm gonna try to get through a little bit quicker than normal because I have so many. So with all that said, you know the drill, like it, subscribe it, so like, subscribe. <laughs> And if you want to get notifications for when I upload, there's a little bell, you can hit that and it'll tell you when I do upload. And I try to upload every five days-ish, not to give away all my secrets. Okay, so let's jump in. All right, let's, do I have, yeah, I can do it kind of in category. So the first category would be cleansers. Two of these cleansers, which I would say I enjoyed thoroughly both of them. This is the Caudalie Vino Clean, and this is the Bliss Makeup Melt. I bought the Bliss Makeup Melt thinking it was truly gonna be like a cleansing balm. It's not, it's just a jelly kind of cleanser. It doesn't foam, it's very soft, very gentle on your skin. It's a good one in the morning if you maybe have a little bit of residue from any of your skincare. That's how I use it. I really, really enjoy it. I think it's great for that. I will say that it's kind of been replaced by the, what's it called? Glenzer? Oh my god, why can't I think of the brand's name? Okay, I'll, I'll post a link of the one I like better. And But I think this is a great option. It's non-scented. You can get it at Target. It's very affordable. It kind of reminds me of the Glossier one like this, where it's like the milky jelly cleanser. I think that's the name of it. But yeah, it's a great option. I just have one that I like more now. And then we have the Caudalie. This is the Vino Clean. So this comes out as a foam. I don't think there's anything left. But normally, you know, like when you push it, it'll come out as a self-formed foam. And I have a few of these now, which I have really been enjoying, kind of like this um, Bliss one, where you can use them as a very gentle morning cleanser. I don't always use a morning cleanser, but only when I have like residue on my face. And these both work really well. I would just say it's a matter of preference. If you like that foaming feel, this one is a good option. But Caudalie is quite an expensive luxury brand. So it is gonna be more pricey, but it gives you that very, very spa-like experience. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. Okay, let's move on to serums because I have quite, oh my goodness, a lot of serums. Okay. The first one, let's go through the vitamin C's that I have. I have the Polish Choice Booster C15 Super Booster and then the Alpha H Vitamin C Serum. This one was like a small mini, I guess like travel size, but actually I felt like it has 15 milliliters and this one was just their normal size, which is 20. And I... 100% enjoyed the Alpha H way more than the Paula's Choice. This one felt greasy. It oxidized way too quickly. I didn't like the packaging. I don't really like that it like gets stuck when you're trying to pull it out and then I almost spill it every time. I didn't find that it did much for my skin. And I just found this experience with the Alpha H to be much more luxurious and kind of a more sensorial, sensorial feel to it. So if that is important to you, I would go with the Alpha H. It's pricey, I mean, so is the Paula's Choice. Vitamin C's tend to be pricey, but I would just say that the actual like texture of the Alpha H is way better than the Paula's Choice. So for me, it's a clear choice. Okay, now we have um, three different serums from The Ordinary, and I'm gonna go through them kind of separately. This is the Buffet, this is what they used to call it. It's the Multi-Technology Peptide Serum, and now I forget there's a different name for it. This is a great serum. It's a very, very nice, well-rounded, nice texture serum. I think I enjoy this better than this option, which are the Argoline and then the Matrixel, which are supposed to be together, like one of the best anti-aging, um, what's it called, combinations. And I think that's true. I just felt like I got just as much from the buffet as I got from these two. And I'd rather just have one serum than having two and like the price is probably comparable for both. I think these are, um, the Matrixel and the Argoline are pretty expensive, or not expensive, but for the Ordinary, they're more expensive. And then the Buffet is one of their more expensive ones too. So for me, if I need to choose, I'd rather just have one, one and done, than two for kind of like the hassle of it. But you really can't go wrong with Ordinary serums. They're very affordable. 
They are just nice to use most of the time. They don't pill, they don't do anything. And it's always a good option, especially if you're just beginning your career in skincare and kind of like trying to figure out what your skin like. Okay, this one is very interesting and I think I'm gonna keep it out because I, I think I wanna repurchase it. This is the Kinder Bakuchio Serum. And I bought this on a whim thinking that it would basically replace my, um, what was it? Caudalie Vino Resveratrol Lift from Caudalie, which is one of my favorite serums. It's just so expensive. And I think this is actually a decent dupe for the Resveratrol Lift from Caudalie, but it has Bakuchio. So the thing about this that I don't like, I just would pour it into my hand and I think it actually did something when I used the proper kind of like routine of my skincare. I would caution you though, even though I haven't found Bakuchio to be as irritating as retinol, I did have one day where my skin was a bit irritated and I used this and it was inflamed, like bright red. So there's, there's some power in it, so kind of be careful, but a very affordable option and I think I'm gonna keep it and consider repurchasing it. Okay, a few more. These aren't necessarily um, serums, but we have the Indie Lee Lotion CoQ10. It's like a spray. And I got a travel size to test it out because I've heard people rave about this. It literally felt nothing. This felt like me spraying water on my face. So this is a big pass. I'm not gonna ever repurchase that. I don't know what it does and I didn't see any results and I really like the Caudalie spray way more than that. So this is the Sephora Resurfacing Peel Mask. This has AHA, BHA, and PHA, 13%. I love, love, love this. I think it's about, I wanna say $20 from Sephora. It's a Sephora brand, and I got it on sale during the sale. So this is my second bottle. I have a new one in my bathroom. And this thing just makes my face feel so like smooth and never irritates it, but it basically, it's a mask, an exfoliating mask, and it does such a great job. It feels cool, like if you use it in the summertime, you get this cooling sensation. And I just feel like it does a very good job of peeling away any of the dead skin cells and kind of like roughness that I have on my face for a very, very affordable price. Okay, then I have the Serenity Overnight Haul. I did a whole video on this. You can look it up in my channel. This is 2% Bakuchiol and DHA. So it's basically supposed to give you like a little bit of a tint on your skin and like that you wake up with just like less redness and it's a self tanner. Somebody commented on my video, they're like, but it's not a self tanner. And I'm like, but it is. I mean, it's not a strong one, but it is supposed to even your tone using DHA, which is the ingredient in self tanners. So there's nothing I hate about this. I think it's a great product. I think there were some very, very slight um, changes I saw from using it, but only when I used it. Like it wasn't a long lasting thing. I had to use it all the time and it's pretty pricey. So if you want something like this, if that sounds like something you'd like and you're okay spending that kind of money all the time, by all means, there's nothing wrong with it. Just for me, I was like, I'll just use a self tanner if I want. And I don't really tend to self tan my face. So it's kind of a pass for me. Okay, let's get into some masks. I already did one mask, I guess, but these are two others. This is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Mask, and these are the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Eye Patches. These are a big pass for me, and I'm sad to say that I didn't even finish them, but they dried up pretty quickly, and that's because they never really were that hydrating to begin with, which was very annoying since they're supposed to be hydrating eye masks but I just, there's nothing more to say about this. I would not waste your money. There are much more hydrating eye patches with a far less big dollar amount associated with them. Then this is the, what did I say? Peach Slices Snail Rescue Mask. This has like a very clear, very thick, goopy consistency, and it's supposed to be hydrating, but also clarifying. And I enjoyed this. I used this often when I was in the bath and I would just slather it on my face. But I didn't see personally any really drastic changes from it. But that said, other people say that they have seen the best results from it. So I think it's something that I would consider repurchasing. And Peach Slices is a quite affordable brand. I think it's sold at Ulta. So if you are looking for something like this, it says that it targets dark spots, clear skin, leaves skin radiantly hydrated. Um, it's got the snail mucin in it. I think it's something you could consider picking up. It just didn't do much for me, but I didn't hate it either. Like I continued to use it until it was empty. Okay, some hair things I wanna talk about. First is the Inkyless Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Hair Treatment. So 
This, they changed the packaging. It used to be in like a aluminum one and now it's plastic. This makes it easier to get it out. I didn't find that it did much for my hair, but that said, my hair is quite coarse and curly naturally. Not right now. I mean, I did curl it, but so I don't see a lot of changes from most hair care products. So I can't really knock it. I would say like maybe give it a shot. I don't know. It might help you more than it helped me. Inky List is very affordable and it, the texture of it and the experience of it was very nice. So there was nothing I hated. It just didn't give me the results that I was hoping for like shiny locks. <laughs> but on the other hand, this is the Answer Keratin Treatment. I've talked about this many times now. I have a full video. I will link it above on this. I cannot live without this. I just bought two bottles of it during the Black Friday sale. This is my ride or die. I do not go to the salon anymore because this is all I need. I use a bottle of it for my hair. My hair is quite long nowadays. And I, you follow the instructions, do all the things. Basically, it is a keratin treatment. So if you have super curly or kind of, what's the word, frizzy hair, this is gonna help tame that. It doesn't get rid of all of the curl. It's not like one of those really intense formaldehyde keratin treatments, but it does just leave me with hair that is much more manageable. I usually, if I don't have it, right around my face, I get these little like annoyingly frizzy hairs. And then the rest of my hair is just quite frizzy. But with this in my life, I do it really every six months. They say like three to four months, but I can get away with doing it every six months because I don't wash my hair a lot. And yeah, I love this stuff. I will recommend this until the day I die, probably. Okay guys, we're getting down to the bottom of the barrel. We've gotten to the makeup section. All right, let's go over the first one that I have. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter Gel. I love, love, love this stuff until I got to a certain point in the bottle where I kind of am lazy and I don't like necessarily not get makeup or sunscreen on my brows. And so it got coated in too much makeup and it really kind of like affects the quality of the brow setter. But in the beginning when it's nice and clear, this is truly, ah, I think it's better than my current favorite, which is the Anastasia one. This is clear and it never gets tinted from your makeup or sunscreen, but this, the 24 hour brow setter, the benefit one, has a better hold. It's just a matter of like, do you get your makeup in your brows like me and are too lazy to brush it out or not? But if it didn't do that, I think I would always repurchase this. But for the time when I'm so lazy, I'm gonna stick to my Anastasia one. And then I've got two makeups or two mascaras two which I have repurchased. One is the Merit. This is their tubing. I, I don't know if it's actually tubing, but they say it is. This is the perfect mascara for those really natural, light, wispy days. If you want volume, you want definition, this is not it. This is for those natural girlies out there. I love it. I think the wand is really nice. It's got the natural bristles. It's all straight like that. There's no curve to it. And it does just give you the most natural looking uh, lashes. It doesn't come off quite like a normal tubing mascara, but it doesn't give you raccoon eyes either. It just comes off in like little pieces. But yeah, I love this mascara for those natural days. Then the other one is the Cali Ray. And I love this mascara so much. It gives you way more volume. It's got more of a natural wand, or it has a natural wand as well. Um, and this is just the travel size. I have repurchased the, the full size of it though. And this stuff, if you really want something that lasts, I wouldn't say it's necessarily waterproof, but it's as close to waterproof as you're gonna get for kind of a tubing mascara, especially with that like volume that you get from it. It's a beautiful one. And then my last two are, well, let's talk about this one first. This is the Fit, Go Fit Glow Beauty Lip Color Serum, and I had it in the shade Beach Glow. This stuff is really, really nice, and I'm actually gonna put the last little drop on, because there's still, there's still some product, I just can't reach it with the wand. It gives you not necessarily a plumping look, but kind of a little bit of a plumping feel. And it's just a really nice thick lip serum. I don't know if it's worth the money though. I think back in the day, I feel like there were a few years where this serum was really big and I don't know if I would repurchase. I haven't repurchased just because I have a lot of others that kind of do the same thing. And I don't find that this one actually lasts as long and is as thick as some of the others that I've come to love. So probably won't repurchase. And then I saved the best for last. <laughs> this is so sad. This is the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. 
and I have the shade medium. I'm pretty sure they've discontinued this and it's a sad, sad day because I was scraping the sides of it. I love this stuff. It's well worth the money. It's a not, you know, it's NARS, so it's gonna be more expensive, but this is, it just is a better shadow base than maybe a concealer because sometimes the concealer can be like a little heavy. This gave me that perfect canceled out look because I do have lots of veins in my eyes and it really, really locks in any shadow or powder that you put on all day. And it's just a shame because I can't find it anywhere and I'm devastated. And I guess that's how I end this video. But if I could repurchase it, I would. But yeah, so whew, these videos, I mean, what am I at? Like, I'm not that far in, but I get a workout. Like sometimes I'll look at my Apple Watch and it's like, are you working out right now? I'm like, no, but I should be, <laughs> but yeah. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope you get some glimpses into what I will and have or would not repurchase. And yeah, I'm gonna end it here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.